hello everyone welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can add an image gallery to your blogger website so as you can see i have added an image gallery like this and i will show you how you can do it in your blogger website so for this you need to go to your blogger dashboard and you need to open a existing blog post or new post and then you need to switch to the html view from compose view and then you need to copy a code like this so let me just scroll down and here it is this is the css code so you need to add the style tag um, just above and below the css code so let me just copy the css code and i will paste it like this and i will just add the style tag just above the css code like this and i will close the style tag like this now i need to add the html code so let me just copy the html code and i will paste it here and here you will see options like image 1 and image 2 and if you want to add more than one images then you can just copy this section and you can replicate this like this so it will show three images at once and you can also add four images like this and you can change this to like three and you can change this like to 4 so you can remember the position and here you need to add the source image url so for this i will use some stock images from pixabay so let me just copy the image address from here and i will add the image address in the image url field now let me just copy a different image so let me just select this one and i will copy image address and i will add the image url like this now i will copy an another image so let's copy this one copy image address and i will add the url here now let's select a different image like this one and copy image address and let's add the image url here okay now we have add the image url of that those images we need to add the link of the images so whenever someone click on the image it will redirect to that page so you can add the url in the hash value and you can also add an image caption below the images so let me just first publish this page so let me just add a name like gallery and let me just publish this page now let's open this page and as you can see the image is showing like this so you need to use the same size image otherwise it will not looks good so let me just remove the third image from here so let's remove this one and let me just replicate this one some more times and let me just add it below here and let's copy this section and let's replicate it again and one more time so there is one two three four five six seven so let's add it one more time okay there is eight image now so let me just update this page now let me just refresh this page and as you can see it is showing eight images at once and you can remove the image caption if you don't want it so just select this deep class image caption and remove it so let me just remove the caption from all of the images and we can also show a image description below all images if you want so in that case i don't want the image caption and you can also add a image alt tag to improve your seo so just describe the image in the all text fields so you have to add your keywords or add the images name like this in the alt field so let's update this page first now let me just refresh this page and as you can see the image caption is now gone and whenever someone click on the image it will go to the link where you have paste in the hash value 
and you can also show three images in a row so to do this just go to the css code and here you will see this option width 24.9999 so you just change this percentage to something like 33.33 like this so let me just update this page now let me just refresh this page and as you can see now it is showing three images in a row so it is also mobile responsive so let me just click on inspect element here and let me just choose iphone sc and as you can see it is showing one images at a time so let's change it to ipad air and it will show three images at once and let's change it to responsive and as you can see it will show images according to the screen size like this so it is fully responsive and work in all devices and in this way you can add multiple images so just copy this section and then you need to add the source image url and add the link of that image and you can add multiple number of images in the gallery sections okay as you can see it is now showing nine images at once so in this way you can change the position if you want to add two images in a row then you can just simply change the css code from 33 percent to around 50 percent so let me just quickly do that and let me just update this page now let me just refresh this page and as you can see now it is showing two images at once so in this way you can further customize the image gallery and you can also add border around the images add a background sections so to add the background you can just click on inspect element here and just select the whole image gallery and let me just click on plus one here and let's add a background and let me just add a background like this so let's add the alice blue background and let's add a padding of something like eight pixel let me just close this and as you can see there is a background color around the images so let me just make it a deep color so you can see it properly so let's select the image gallery here and let's change the background color to something like this so you can further customize the gallery if you want using the css code so i hope you have learned how to add a image gallery to your blogger website and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button thank you